Hi Pisces, welcome to your monthly messages from Spirit Reading for April. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Pisces. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear this message. My intentions for this reading, Pisces, is to channel and provide messages from Spirit to you for the month of April to ask what will be happening, unfolding, what do you need to be aware of, if something has already happened, why has it happened? And you can just take this reading as anything that you need to hear right now in this moment. And this can impact any aspect of your life. Love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution. But whatever spirit would like to talk about shall be said. So if you have any beings of the light that you would like to welcome into this space, specific angels, ancestors, spirit guides, maybe even pass down loved ones, you're welcome to ask them to join us here now. So let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first gonna use my sample to clear and set the energy for you guys. So let's go ahead and take a moment to take a deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and see what's happening for you guys in the month of April. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what do you need to be aware of? What is happening and unfolding? What can I tell you to bring you further insight, clarity, healing, and guidance in regards to whatever's going on in your life at this time? So we have Burkhana. And it says, birth, general fertility, both mental and physical and personal growth, liberation, regenerative power, light of spring, renewal, process of new beginnings, new growth. Something new is coming into your life. Something exciting is coming into your life. It's a very fertile time for you guys. Fertile for new projects, new relationships, new jobs, new opportunities. I do feel that you guys have been planting the seeds for a while and have been waiting for them to grow. I am hearing seize the moment, Pisces, so there may be something that you've already been offered to you, but you don't know if you should take it or very soon, something's gonna happen, a knock at the door, an email, a phone call, an opportunity that is really going to be given to you to bring a new era into your life, a new chapter into your life. And honestly, this is kind of similar to your last reading that I read for you guys in March and some of that newer energy is still carrying in. So Pisces, it is time. It is time to start taking those actions, to make those phone calls, to put those intentions out there, to manifest. Because I do feel that whatever intention you're setting right now in April is going to grow. If it has goodwill, if you have determination, if you have heart in it, it will be yours. So let's keep going. The letter B is sticking out to me, as in Brandon, as in Brittany, first, middle, last, initial may mean something to someone. Tell me more, Pisces. Ooh, go the distance. Number 47, look at that cheetah energy. Some of you guys can resonate with cheetah on a personal level. Does not have to be the case. Maybe jaguar energy for some of you guys. But, you know, this uh, jaguar cheetah is go crossing the finish line, is getting there. So this is something, Pisces, that you've been wanting for a while, a long time. And different than Capricorn's energy, which I kind of felt there were, you know, blocks and delays that made Capricorn guess or doubt themselves. Pisces, you kept going. You didn't give up. You are perseverant. You have adversity. And a lot of people underestimate Pisces' power. Um, you know, a lot of People like to describe or stereotype Pisces as very easygoing, as very aloof. Um, sure, that could be an aspect from, from the Pisces I know. They have visions. They have goals. They're ambitious. 
they know how to make their dreams into a reality when they're vibrating at their highest frequency, when they're in a high vibration. And this is what I'm seeing for you guys. And go the distance. I wonder if some of you guys have been wanting to move, have been waiting for the opportunity to move, and that opportunity may be opening up to you a new apartment, a new home, and maybe an entirely new city, maybe in an entirely new country, Pisces. Spirit's giving you the thumbs up to go for it. But you know, Pisces, Spirit also wants to say they're proud of you for sticking to it even when it got tough. You see that this jaguar cheetah is in the desert. So you were kind of left or have been working your way up after having nothing. Those are the warrior spirits. Those are the warrior hearts. And you have that warrior heart, Pisces. I wonder if some of you have strong Aries in your chart. Um, Aries rising, Aries Venus, Aries moon. Does not have to be, of course, but I'm feeling very strong Aries energy. And that could just be because we're in Aries e season and it's the time to do it now. But you're going the distance, Pisces. You have stuck through it even when it was tough. Even when you wanted to give up, you didn't. And you're crossing the finish line in some way in April that is going to show you all the evidence in the 3D world of why you had the right feeling of pushing forward and making it happen. Let's keep going. Tell me more about this energy surrounding Pisces spirit. Expectation, okay? Be open for whatever comes next. It might be the music your heart's been waiting to hear. So keep your eyes open, Pisces. Keep everything open as far as your eyes, your ears. I mean, I think something's coming your way that don't underestimate it. Don't underestimate if this is going to give you everything you want because I see it will. I see it's what you've been having your eyes on, even if it comes in a form that you weren't expecting, right? Even if it comes in a way that was not what you envisioned, it's still the answer to your prayer. It's still the what you've been asking for. And I feel with this expectation here, you're going to get exactly what you want in a different form, perhaps, maybe in the same. But I think Pisces... What is the most prevalent message here that I can see with the combination of these three cards is that you're making things happen. You are continuing to persevere. You're continuing to set forward. You are making the networking calls. You are going on those dates. You are paying for certain advertisements for people to go to your website. You pushed and pushed and pushed. And this is where it happens. This is where you get your heart's desires. So the important message here, though, is to be open to every possibility. That doesn't mean you have to settle for less, but what it means is take everything into consideration because you may be surprised with what something may seem not so prominent actually turns out to be the blessing, the answer, the manifestation that you've been working so hard towards all right and I feel this is not just one opportunity I don't feel this is just one gift or one promotion I feel a lot of opportunities a lot of interest a lot of romances a lot of friendships pouring into your life again I don't feel like people grow a garden just for one crop to grow right all right, tell me more. The Chariot. The perfect card to have in this reading. Cancer energy. I also feel Sagittarius energy with this card here. Now I'm starting to feel a romance energy for some of you. I do feel as if Pisces, um, someone is very attracted to you. Someone very much wants to have a beginning with you. Has been pretty insistent on maintaining contact with you, expressing their feelings for you, flirting with you, wanting to see you. Um, they're very stubborn about getting their Pisces. That's how I feel for a lot of you with this uh, chariot card energy, but 
for those of you this has nothing to do with love or romance it says determination and self-control career advancement acknowledgement of success by others so you are winning some sort of battle here Pisces that you may have felt like you were in it for a while but you are going to come out on top and I feel this is not the time to wait this is not the time to sit back and observe. This is the time to act, Pisces. So do what you can that is in your control to make a certain dream happen, to make a certain goal happen. Spirit is saying you have everything that it takes to make it happen. Tell me more. <sighs> the world card. It keeps getting better with Archangel Michael here. A very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So yeah, I think, you know, it's great that you're getting your reward, you're getting your goal achieved, that you're on your way for sure and getting closer and closer every day to getting to that goal. Even if it is a long-term goal, you're making significant progress in April Pisces, but it's what you're learning about yourself that is also going to be so beneficial to you knowing your boundaries knowing how far you can push yourself knowing how far that you can go you're going to carry that with you for the rest of your life and this with the world card is a big completion a big celebration and give yourself time pisces to pat yourself on the back this is also fixed energy so scorpio leo aquarius taurus energy you maintained that drive. You maintained that determination. When other people would have just thrown their hands up and given up on this goal, on this dream, on this plan you had, you stuck through with it. And a prime time for this to be achieved is middle to end of April, I'm saying very clearly here. Others of you, you already got it and now you're wondering what to do next. What should I do? Now, this is also undergo the distance with the world card. Again, if you guys have a yearning to travel the world, to go to a new country, do it. It's going to be an enriching experience. It's going to be a powerful experience. Now, if you're wanting to move, again, do it. I think it's the right choice, the right decision. And you may be asked to move for a job, for a business offer as well. And by moving, it will help you advance in your career. It will help you advance in your goals. But again, for those of you, this is romance, okay? Someone wants to have you on lock. Someone wants to call you theirs. Someone wants to be your boyfriend, your girlfriend. They want to have something in full completion with you and show you off to the world. I really do feel whoever this is, Pisces, they've been telling people about you. Hey, I met Pisces. I really like them. They're good at this. We do this together. They can't stop talking about you. And I feel that everyone around them knows who you are, seen your picture. They've saved it on their phone. And maybe even too, they want to go like Facebook official or Instagram official and post about you two being together. They want to show you off to the world, Pisces. Tell me more spirit for Pisces in April. I'm just hearing that song. <laughs> it's actually from SpongeBob. Um, but you know the song they play when they're the band? It's like, sweet, sweet victory. I feel you're going to be victorious this month, Pisces. You feel it. You're close to it. You're going to get it. And then we have temperance. You have three major arcanas that have fallen on the table. This is Sagittarius energy, Libra energy for me as a reader personally. And it says success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy under expectation. Okay, so again, this theme Pisces that wants to be talked about is do not underestimate any opportunity thrown your way. Do not shrug off something that you may think is not exactly what you envisioned. Trust your intuitive feeling about it. Don't let your mind second guess it, doubt it, try to downplay it. 
Now, also with temperance too, clearly this month you are achieving a lot. You are making the moves, you're taking the actions. Some of you will be celebrated. Some of you will be acknowledged. Some of you with the world card too, I gotta say, may gain some sort of attraction, some sort of success, or even fame to some sort of degree. And that doesn't mean world fame, although if it is, kudos to you. It could just mean being very well known in your community, very well known online, very well known in your corporation or in your work and for the work you do. But by the end of this month, there is a time maybe where you will be asked by spirit, God, or your body is asking you to slow down a bit. All right, I got there. I made this happen. I made this work. My goal has been achieved. And to take some time to then kind of regenerate. I mean, I have Pisces rising and I have had to learn that after I work hard, I go for it. I definitely need that time of alone time. I definitely need that time where I need days where I'm just not doing anything the whole day except for taking a bath, reading a book, going on a walk, listening to my favorite music, and just having me time. And Pisces, this is imperative for you to continue to have this fuel and drive to go further with your achievements and your success. It's imperative to have this time for yourself, okay, at the end of the month. To just kind of recharge your mind, put your chakras back into balance, to kind of take a rest after a long earned victory. And for others of you, like I said, to not underestimate anything. Um, this expectation, like I said, at the end of the month, it may be slightly different, completely different than what you envisioned at first. So spirit is trying to say that if it kind of takes you aback because it's not the way you thought it was going to be, give yourself time to think about it, okay? Give yourself time to reflect on it before you automatically object it, before you automatically say no. I think there's something to be gained from this, even if it is new. So that's what I also feel the need to say for you guys that may kind of say, uh, I don't know. Is spirit is totally asking you to be open and even open to solutions. So what I mean by that is that if there has to be some change in your life because of this new job opportunity, because you want to move, because of whatever your goal is, um, if there's anything you do have to pay, uh, lay to rest, so quitting a job, ending a relationship, um, something along those lines, I would say do it in a very graceful way. Do it in a way where you're not going to burn bridges because those contacts, those people, um, they may provide other use later on in your life for a referral or something like that. I know this is kind of specific. If it's not for you, don't take it. But I'm definitely seeing that whatever it is, you kind of have to tie loose ends to. I wouldn't do it in a petty way. I wouldn't do it in a dramatic way. I do it in a graceful way because even if it's not what they wanted for you, even if they still want you to be a part of the job, if they still want to be you to be around, but you're moving on to the next, they'll still talk about you in a very honorable way if you do it correctly, okay? Just some advice that I'm kind of picking up from this. But then four of Michael at the bottom of the deck, the four of swords, Libra energy, insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. Yeah. So this is like hidden energy here. Pisces, don't overwork yourself. Don't overwork yourself. Find that balance between, you know, pushing hard and making that action and then also giving your time to rest because everything comes in a cycle. If you work too hard, you're going to burn yourself out. If you don't work hard enough, the momentum may be lost. So that is something to keep in mind. And once you've kind of like mastered that balance between working super hard and giving yourself rest, you will be the example of how to be a successful person because you'll be living the life you want to. Spirit God is also encouraging you to get the right amount of sleep, Pisces. Maybe some of you have been having sleep difficulties, have been trouble staying asleep, falling asleep. Um, so Spirit does want 
want you to know that it's important to have healthy sleep, sleep patterns, sleeping habits. And also too, um, if you still ever feel overwhelmed, stressed by a lot that's going on in your life, I do feel this is Spirit's way of letting you know that you have angels, spirit guides, ancestors all around you, Pisces, that will guide you and show you what you need to do, what you need to achieve through visions, through clear cognizant feelings, through even dreams when you go to sleep at night, that if you forget in the morning, keep a dream journal. They are there with you to help you provide the answers, but they also want you, once this is all achieved, once you make this all happen, once you set everything into motion that you can set into motion, to then take a break, to relax. Um, because there's a potential here I see of burnout. There's a potential here of overworking and stress that is not necessary to your journey. You don't have to put more on your plate to get it. You have to do what you can, but don't overdo it. All right, Pisces? Let's get one more card for you guys to see if there's anything else you guys need to do or need to know about April and what's happening and unfolding here. Jewel. Nice. You're a diamond in the rough, Pisces. I feel that type of energy here. But it says, every event in life presents us with a new opportunity to experience ever greater love. There is a jewel to be found within every teardrop. Trust, we, your angels, are guiding the current events. This is a time in which you and those close to you will emerge strengthened by ever greater bonds of love. Trust. There is nothing to fear. There is only love. So trust that these things will happen for you. Trust that your goals, your dreams, your passions will come to fruition. This is a very, very fertile time. You will go the distance and need to go the distance to get there and everything will fall into place. Pisces, I feel there's some sort of rare achievement coming in here that you didn't think would happen so soon or even finally now that it's been here, what to do next. This month is going to be something that you'll ever for remember as being that time I did it, being that time I went for it. So Pisces, amazing things are happening. This is a fertile time. This is a good time to achieve, to succeed, to take action, but to also give yourself that rest that you may need for yourself just to continue to fuel you on your further dreams and goals that this will catapult you into the perfect position of still achieving as 2023 unfolds. So thank you so much, Pisces, for joining me for this reading. I really hope that it resonated with you. I hope it gave you the clarity, insight, healing, guidance in regards to what's unfolding and happening in your life. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Pisces, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Pisces.